let's talk about empiricism. And as we do, we'll compare it with rationalism. Rationalism and empiricism give almost incompatible answers in epistemology. So it's great to juxtapose them when learning about one. To juxtapose is to put side by side and to compare. That's what we're going to do. Empiricism gives answers in epistemology that are incompatible with rationalism, but what does that mean? Epistemology is the study of knowledge and asks questions like, what is knowledge? What is the best source of information? Not just any information, but true information, information that we can call knowledge. When you think you know something, you have the nerve to do certain things. That feeling of knowing makes you bold compared with the feeling of speculating that something is the case. Well, there's differences between when you speculate that something is the case, when you hypothesize that something is the case, when you believe that something is the case, when you know that something is the case. And what justifies our claim to know something? What justifies information as knowledge? What are the conditions of knowledge? These are epistemological questions, questions about knowledge. Rationalism says that the human intellect is the best source of information because what justifies knowledge is the intellect. On the other hand, the empiricist says that your sense experience is what justifies knowledge, that knowledge comes from experience. So rational, uh, rationalism and empiricism give incompatible answers to epistemological questions. Empiricism says that when you look at an object's qualities, that's how you can get to know the object. Every object has a space, a location, a size, texture, maybe a color, maybe a taste, maybe an appeal to it. Like we can describe objects in many, many ways. The empiricist says that when you want to know something, you need to observe it. You need to use your sense data, your sight, sound, your smell, your taste. Basically, you need to take your senses and have your senses input data into your brain. And when your brain analyzes your sense datum, that's how you get knowledge, that your knowledge comes from your sense experiences. So basically, observations and sense experience justifies our claim to knowledge. That's what the empiricist says, and that is what the rationalist is rejecting. So we can put these two theories side by side and juxtaposing them, learn about each one. In this video, we are going to focus on empiricism. The empiricist believes that there is only a posteriori knowledge. A posteriori knowledge means information that is true, that is in your mind, and it went into your mind through experience. The opposite of a posteriori knowledge is the idea of a priori knowledge. A rationalist is someone who believes that you can have knowledge prior to experience. A priori means prior in Latin. The empiricist says you can only have knowledge after experience. That's what a posteriori means here is post or after. The empiricist believes that you know things because those things have gone through your senses. Tabula rasa is the idea that an empiricist typically accepts. Tabula rasa is the idea of a blank tablet. That's your brain. When you are born, you are, brain, you are born a blank tablet or a blank canvas or a blank sheet of paper. How, do you, how does your brain get information implanted on it? Experience throws paint onto your blank canvas. So by experiencing, by observing, by sense analyzing or analyzing with your senses, information coming through your senses, that's how you get knowledge. Perception is reliable. You can get knowledge through your visual perception, your auditory perception, your olfactory perception, your gustatory perception. Basically, that if you want knowledge, you should use science, physics, astronomy, not things like logic and deduction, but instead induction is going to get you knowledge. That's what the empiricist believes. A famous rationalist, Rene Descartes, came up with this idea called the wax argument. You can find this in the second meditations by Rene Descartes. And Descartes is being a skeptic and he is saying, hold on, how can we trust 
our senses. When you watch a piece of wax melting, you see all of its qualities changing. And so that should be a sign that you can't trust your senses because all of the things about the wax or all of the things about the things you see, their solidity, their weight, their height, all of the things about the material world change. And because they change, you can't trust them. Rene Descartes, the rationalist, says that you can't trust your sense experience or your observations or your senses at all, that your sense experience is not a good source of knowledge because those things are always changing and he thought that truth was universal and unchanging. So the empiricist gets this criticism from Rene Descartes, who's a rationalist. On the other hand, we have John Locke defending and advocating for empiricism. John Locke gives us the theory of qualities, essentially breaking down all of the object's qualities into two camps. Primary qualities are the qualities of an object that are objective and are able to be changed. They are material, but these are the things that are in the object itself. And the secondary qualities, these are the qualities in us, the human perceiver. So John Locke explains how you and I disagree about whether the apple is red or what color red it is. You and I can disagree about secondary qualities, but there is an unchanging truth about the material thing, even though the material thing changes. Like, yes, the apple can deteriorate and lose its weight or lose its shape. Yes, Rene Descartes, your wax can lose its primary qualities. They can change over time. But when you test a object for a weight, there is an objective answer. And at that time, that object did weigh that thing, that that becomes a fact that we cannot argue over. We can't argue over whether this piece of material is a particular weight. It's primary qualities at a particular time, meaning a particular word, those things are basically universal in fact, and we can have knowledge about those things. The things we can have like lowercase knowledge about are secondary qualities, and we can disagree about secondary qualities. Like if I say something is red and you call it grapefruit red, or someone else calls it blood red, someone calls it dirt red, we can disagree about what color something is. We can disagree about secondary qualities, but at the same time, if both of us run the same test about how much something weighs, we will both get the same answer or else we both or one of us has the wrong answer. The empiricist is someone who believes that perception is reliable as a source of knowledge, that induction and running experiments, that's how you get knowledge. 